right, we're going to do some uh, instructional tips for handling our casting dogs. We use two different whistles mostly, and then a uh, whistle let the dog know he's getting in the fall area. Loud blast is usually for sit. Is usually the recall whistle. And when they get close to the fall area where we think they should be coming downwind of the, the fall, and as soon as they actually make the find and pick the bumper or the bird up, we'll call them on in. So when you get your dog there, start with some very basic obedience in the beginning. On lead, sit, heel, walking at heel, drop the lead, let him pull the lead around a little bit, do the commands. Take the lead off. These dogs are trained with positive reinforcement, so there's no collars in order to force them to do the work. Um, after you, they're associated with you and your family and their new surroundings, and you've been petting them and playing with them some, get them warmed up to you. You do your basic obedience stuff, do your basic thrones, same simple singles, then a simple double, fan a bumper out in front 30 yards, send him out on the downwind side of it, let him pick it up, bring it back. And then probably, uh, I don't know, day number seven, eight, nine, or ten, somewhere in there, you can start with your whistle work with him. In the very beginning, I would just do his obedience stuff. Make sure that when that whistle blows solid, that he sits. Um, this is something that I would recommend you get 110% communication between you and the dog at 20 and 30 yards before you try any lengthy work. What we're going to do now is we're going to throw a couple of shorts, singles, and sit him down and move him over to the left and to the right, or some short doubles rather. Okay, that's good. <laughs> 